this video, we're going to be walking through how to upload Google Expanded Text Ads using a combination of the AdWords Editor and Microsoft Excel. Since we were introduced to Expanded Text Ads, advertisers have been receiving mixed results. While the first step for most of us advertisers was to convert our standard text ads to ETAs, we now need to be concentrating on the quality of our ads. The method of creating and uploading ads that we're about to go through uses only one spreadsheet. It also allows us to create multiple ads very quickly, analyse our ads all in one place, and keep an eye on character counts at the same time. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by opening the Google AdWords editor. To start, let's get our recent changes. I'd suggest choosing the More Data option and All Campaigns when opening the AdWords editor for the first time in a session. Click OK and wait for the changes to download. Select your chosen ad group or campaign. In this example, we're going to select an ad group. After selecting our ad group, in our Manage view, we're going to click on Ads and then Expanded Text Ads. Next, we're going to click on our ads, or ad in this case, and click on Account in the top menu bar. Then Export, and we're going to export from our current view. We're now being prompted to save our exported file. Let's rename this file to ETA-ADS and go ahead and save our file as a CSV to our desktop. Because we have ticked the option to open our file once our export is complete, our Excel file will open automatically. Let's now make our screen full size and expand our columns so that we can see everything clearly. We want to keep our spreadsheet as clean as possible, so let's delete any unnecessary columns that we're not going to use in this example. It is important to note at this stage that you do not need all of the columns that are initially present in the export to then import this file again. Also, keep in mind that we will be adding new columns and as long as these do not match any known AdWords column names, these will not interfere with the upload process. At the moment, we only have one ad to work with, so we're going to copy our existing ad to the two rows below so that we have three ads for this example. We'll do this with a simple copy and paste. So, we've created more ads and we can now optimise these ads further. With Google Expanded Text Ads, we have new character limits and we want to take full advantage of these. Therefore, to help us, we can customise this spreadsheet further. To start with, let's count the number of characters in our first headline using an inserted column on the right. First, let's create that column by right hand clicking on column D and choosing Insert. Then we're going to give the new column header the name H1CC, which stands for Headline 1 Character Count. We're going to opt for an abbreviated version here to save space. Let's also keep our spreadsheet nice and neat by double clicking on our new column to reduce its width. We're then going to click on cell D2 and insert the formula equals len open brackets C2 close brackets and press enter. The len function in Excel returns the number of characters in a text string. We now have a column to count and display the number of characters in our headlines. Let's drag this formula down to cells D3 and D4 by double clicking on the bottom right hand corner of cell D2. Now we're going to create CC columns for our second headline, our description and our paths. We're also going to copy and paste our formulas from H1CC across to our other CC columns. Let's recap what our character limits are. Both headlines now have a character limit of 30 characters. We now only have one description, but it has a character limit of 80 characters. Finally, there are two paths, each with a character limit of 15 characters. So. The new columns we have created will show us how many characters there are in each section of our ads. These character counts will automatically update as we make changes to our ads. For example, let's change the first headline of our second ad to Upload Google Expanded Text Ads. As you can see, our character count in cell D3 changed from 28 to 31. 31 characters would make our headline too long. Cell D3 has been helpful by displaying the number of characters. But we can go a step further and apply conditional formatting to this cell so that we have a visual cue. To do this, we're going to select cell D2, click on conditional formatting, choose highlight cell rules, and then select greater than. We now see in a box which is providing us with options to set up our new formatting rule. We have already chosen the greater than option, so most of our fields are already set up for us. All we need to do is enter the cell value 30 into the empty box and press OK. This formatting rule is now set up to format the headline 1 character count cell with a light red fill with red dark text if our headline is over the allowed character count of 30 characters. We can now drag this formula down to cells D3 and D4 by double clicking on the right hand corner of cell D2. We can see that our headline 1 has a more prominent visual cue to let us know that this headline is over 30 characters. Let's change the headline to Google Expanded Text Ads H1 so that it no longer exceeds the allowed character count. 
We can also use conditional formatting to notify us when we have achieved our ideal character counts. To do this, let's click on cell D2 again and go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and this time we're going to select the between option. We want to use as much of our character allocations as possible. So let's set this rule to highlight all cell values between 25 and 30 characters with a green fill with dark green text. Next, let's press OK and drag our formula down to cells D3 and D4. To test what we would see if our headline 1 was under 25 characters, let's shorten our third ad's headline to expanded text ads. Now, we can see that if our headline is under 25 characters, our H1CC cell will not have any formatting, even though we could add further formatting to highlight which headlines were under our ideal character count. I prefer to leave these cell values without any formatting to keep things simple and so that we can save ourselves from being overwhelmed with formatting. By doing this, we just have red and green highlighted cells, which is nice and simple. We can now copy our conditional formatting rules over. For H2CC, we do not have to edit our rules after pasting them because the character limits are the same. However, for our description and paths, we'll need to change the rules. To do this, let's start by clicking on cell H2, and we're going to go to conditional formatting, and then manage rules. To edit a rule, we need to double click on the rule that we want to change. We're going to start with the first rule. Once we double click, we can see the edit format and rule box open again. For the description, we're going to change our ideal character values to be between 75 and 80, and our cell value limit to be greater than 80 characters. Once we've done this, we can press OK to save our rules and double click on the bottom right hand corner of cell H2 to apply the new rules to cells H3 and H4. For our paths, we're going to carry out a similar process and click on cell J2, then conditional formatting and manage rules. When creating paths, we want to concentrate on making them relevant and also to give those viewing our ads a better idea of where on our site they're going to land. For this reason, we're not going to want to set an ideal character count. To delete a rule, we need to have the rule selected and click on the minus icon in the bottom left of the box. We're now going to edit our character limit by double clicking and changing the cell value to 15. We now need to press OK and copy the P1CC conditional formatted cells and paste them into the P2CC cells. Google has told advertisers to keep the total headline character count at a maximum of 33 characters to avoid truncation. To help us successfully meet this 33 character limit, we can add another column to calculate the total character count of both headlines. Let's create another column after H2CC and we can call this H1CC plus H2CC. We once again want to use the len function and this time the formula we want to use is equals len open bracket C2 close bracket plus len, open bracket, E2, close bracket. As always, we then want to drag the formula down to cells G3 and G4. The next step is to set our conditional formatting rules. First, let's clear the rules we currently have set for these cells by clicking on conditional formatting, clear rules, and then clear rules from selected cells. To set our new rules, we want to go again to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and then choose greater than. This time, we don't want our cell values to be greater than 33 characters, so we will enter the value 33 into the box and press OK to proceed. Now we also want to set a conditional formatting rule that notifies us when our combined character count is under 33 characters. Again, we'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and this time, we'll choose less than. We need to change the format to green fill with dark green text. Enter the cell value 33 and press OK to proceed. Now, let's edit our third ad's headline to be Learn More. Once we press Enter to submit the change, we can see that our character counts have recalculated, and even though our first two ads are not under the 33 character truncation limit, our third ad is. We now have the option to test having a truncated ad versus non-truncated ads. Please keep in mind that the ad text that I've used in this video are just an example. To upload these ads back into the editor, the first step we need to take is to save our spreadsheet as a CSV. In this example, we just have to save rather than save as. We'll then open the AdWords editor again and navigate to our ad group and ads view. We'll then have to click on account, import and from file. We can now choose our file and click open. The last step is to finish and review our changes. While we have gone through this process slowly in this video, I found this method to be the quickest and the most thorough for uploading expanded text ads. We only used three ads in this example and one campaign and one ad group. 
but combining Excel and the AdWords editor using this method allows you to create expanded text ads for many campaigns and ad groups at the same time. There are also many other AdWords and Excel combos which come in handy which I will cover in other videos. For now, that's all from me. Thank you for watching.